anchored deep in the heart of your kids so that they know about the love of God. And partnering with you to provide you with resources that help you as mom and dad really do that. And so we, we're excited to partner with you in this important commitment. Uh, first of all, we want to take a minute to say, what is dedication? Dedication is really uh, a way for us as a church. We don't baptize infants here at Westbridge. And the reason for that is whenever you find baptism in the Bible, you find it as uh, an adult making that decision for themselves. Once they've made a decision to follow Jesus, it's an outward expression of a decision to follow Jesus. And since uh, babies aren't able to make that decision on their own, we do this. And this really isn't a service for the salvation of the child as much as it is a, a commitment that the parents make before God and before their church family, and to raise their child in a home that serves and honors Jesus. And so this is why we do this here together with others from the church. We say, hey, this is your church family. We want to help you, partner with you as mom and dad. And as we look at the life and teachings of Jesus, there are a couple of things that actually stand out about child dedication. First, in Luke chapter 2, Jesus' parents actually take Jesus to the temple to have him dedicated. And I think that's a, a, an incredible example. It's amazing to think that Mary and Joseph would, uh, were partnering with their local faith community to help raise the Son of God. <laughs> so I think it's a great example for all of us. Uh, second, Jesus seems to really love kids. If you read through and see how Jesus interacts with children, as a matter of fact, it says this in Matthew 19, one day some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could lay his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. And Jesus said, let the children come to me. Don't stop them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. And he placed his hands on their heads and blessed them before he left. Folks, as parents, we are basically an extension of the picture of God to our kids. That's really one of the biggest roles that we have, and we are charged, as parents, we're charged with teaching them who God is and showing them what God's love looks like. And so for a lot of our kids, their view of God is shaped through the lens of how mom and dad interact with us. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6 says this, gives us some great wisdom on how to do that. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you're getting up. And the implication here is that when it comes to how we love our kids, how we model the love of Jesus to our kids, it's an all day, every day kind of task. And that we are showing them a picture of what God's love is like with our interactions with them. And so I'm so proud of each and every one of you because I know that's your intention, that's your desire. And this morning, uh, we're going to ask you to make that commitment with your church family and uh, commit to bring up your child with the knowledge of God and his love for them. And so with the help of the church family, if that's your intention, then please answer I do to the following promises and commitments. Uh, in presenting your children for dedication to the Lord, do you confess your faith in Jesus to forgive your sins and to lead your life? Do you receive this child with gratitude, recognizing them as God's gift to your family? Do you commit to be a parent of personal faith, recognizing your children are more likely to follow God's path by the model that they first observe in you? Do you commit to lead a faith-filled home that honors God in your relationships and in the choices that you make spiritually for your family? Do you commit to work on patience? Oh, I know, it's tough. <laughs> Recognizing that with your inherent strengths and weaknesses, your desire to shape your child is a loving act that will require time and prayer and a lot of help from God in order to produce in your children what you hope for and what God hopes for. And lastly, will you commit yourselves to the body of Christ, to his church, your church family, with all of its flaws and imperfections and messiness as we strive to partner with you to create environments that set the anchor of God's love deep in the heart of your child. Will you commit to your church family? Awesome. Well, I'd like to pray a blessing over all of your children here this morning. So let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for the gift of these families and the gift that you have given each of them in their child. And we pray that as these children grow, you would give their parents the wisdom to know what to do and then give them the courage to do it, knowing that as parents, we often sacrifice immediate gratification for our kids' ultimate well-being. We pray that each child here today would grow up with the knowledge of who you are, what you have done for them, and how much you love them, and that each child would respond by trusting you with their life. Thank you for the gift of eternity with you. We dedicate these kids to you. We place them in your capable hands. 
And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.